the wait is almost over Wuthering Waves is going to be releasing very very soon so I thought that having played the closed beta for about 60 hours or so I think I have enough information to put out a video on what to do or what to expect on day one so you can have a really fantastic start to your Wuthering Waves journey. A lot of this information is from the closed beta so it's obviously subject to change because we haven't gotten the release version of the game yet however I don't think the core mechanics of the game is going to change so therefore a lot of these tips are going to be very relevant still to the release of the game keep in mind that these are things that i would have liked to know before i played the closed beta because i did struggle a little bit in the closed beta but now i can tell you guys what to avoid for you guys to have a better start than i did so obviously in the closed beta i was not able to reroll but i'm going to implore you to guys to please try to reroll for at least verena or your main dps so you should ideally select one main dps that you're interested in and then also verena should be on everybody's radar because she is the most valuable character in the game as of this moment as of launch verena is the most valuable character in the game so my recommendation is to just select what the main dps is that you want to main so for example Kalcharo, you have encore you have ling yang any of those that you want to main select them and then the other one is going to be verena because again verena is just so valuable and then try to reroll for one of those two in the beginning because then you have the selector to look forward to that you can go ahead and select the other one so let's say on your first reroll you get verena which is extremely lucky you should probably keep that account because in the selector let's say your main dps is going to be Calcharo, so you're going to go ahead and select called Charo. And before we move on from the gacha system, I want to mention that you also might want to keep an eye out for four star weapons that are probably some of the best weapons in the game. Like the Autumn Trace is one, the Stone Art, and then the Augment are three different weapons that are going to have crit rate based stats and are the only three four star weapons that have crit rate based stats. So, so let's say you have two different rerolls and one of them has Barina, the other one has called Charo, but one of them has the Autumn Trace Sword. It's better to just keep the one with the Autumn Trace Sword because that sword is probably going to be the Sword that you're going to put on Kalcharo anyway when you select them off your selector. And then the final thing with the gacha system is that don't waste your asteroid on standard pools. You are going to get some standard pools just from progressing and playing through the game. So you will reach your standard character selector at some point. So you don't have to use your asteroid. I mean, you can use your asteroid, but it's not recommended because that is a premium resource that we're going to be using to summon for better and premium or, or exclusive or limited units for say. All right, now that you have your two strong characters, let's say you have your Verena and then you're able to get your Kalcharo. Now the next thing you should be focusing on is not spreading your resources too thin. So what I mean by this is that normally, especially in Honkai Star Rail, you want to focus your supports first. You want to make sure your supports are good to go, and that way they can stay alive while your DPS does the damage. Well, Wuthering Waves is a little different than that. You have to do the pretty much the opposite. You pretty much have to go the OG Pokemon approach where your starter Pokemon, say your Charizard, was like level 50 and everything else was level 20. That's pretty much what you want to do. Your main DPS is going to be the one that's going to be higher leveled and then your supports are going to trail behind it because their resources are so thin that you're not going to be able to afford to level up three or two or three characters at the same time and then maximize your uh, progress that way. Don't get me wrong, you will be able to get to the story doing that, but once you get out of that, once you get into the end game, the hologram, the, the tower, once you get to those things, you're going to need your teams to be like built up, but that's gonna take a little while for you to do it. But by having a really well-built DPS, or main DPS, you're going to ensure that you're going to be able to get through the story, through the side quest, and then progress your account, and then your supports can trail behind it. Maybe once you get your DPS to a good point, you can start investing a little bit more in, into your supports like Verena. So it's kind of the same principle of Honkai Soro, but pretty much inverted. So your supports are going to have to be invested in last, and then your DPS is going to be invested in first, because you can technically get away with having no healer and no supports or nothing. You can just play the game with one character if you really want to. However, most of us are not going to be doing that because we're not that good. We're not him, you know? You're going to need a team, but you don't need to max out your whole team, Is that if that makes sense. So don't spread your resources too thin because you don't want to get stuck in a, in a point where you can't level up either of them, where you can't progress your characters because you invested too much into another character. Like my recommendation is to just um, hold off on investing on multiple characters until you reach about like Virginator level 40, level 35, level 40, where you're gonna be able to farm more efficiently on that point. All right, the next tip is going to be a little controversial, but I recommend you to hear me out until I finish my thought, is don't focus on farming echoes early on. And what I mean by this, I don't mean don't kill the echoes and don't capture the echoes. Yes, do go out of your way to go and get the echoes. Like if you see a mob, go and beat it up and try to capture a few. 
However, don't focus on getting stats for your characters from the echoes early on. What I mean by this is, let's say you kill the Ghost Rider, but you get a, I don't know, a uh, whatever, let's say flat attack, and you don't want flat attack, you want crit rate. Don't spend resources trying to get that crit rate piece early on. Wait until you're at least resonated to level 35 or 40, because the, first of all, your terminal level is going to be way higher. And the terminal level is what determines the odds of you actually getting the chance to get the, the, the echo. If your terminal level is too low, you may beat them up 50 times, but you're never going to get the, you're never going to get to capture it. I recommend waiting at least until level 35, level 40, or until your terminal level is up to level 20. And that way, 80% of the time where you beat an echo, you're going to be able to capture it. And that way you're going to be able to farm them more efficiently. So yeah, do go out of your way to get the, get as many echoes as you want so you can level up your terminal level, but do not hyper-focus on getting a certain stat on a character on an echo, if that makes sense. Uh, your main focus should be on completing the story, completing all the side quests so you can get all the resources you need so you can level up your characters and get into the end game. Which brings me to my next point, which would be to do the side quest, do the exploration, just do it. Just go out and explore the game, do the side quests, do them as soon as you get them because there's going to be a lot up front, but the sooner you knock them out, the sooner you're going to have access to those resources and then you can go from there. You can uh, go for Gian and his weapon. You can go for Yin Lin and her weapon. You can save him for the next 1.1 characters that just got drip marketed. If you have the resources, you can choose what to do with them. When you go into the, out into the world, if you have to go from point A to point B, just go, don't go in a straight line and ignore everything else. Just go around, explore, Take your time exploring the world. You may find extra two or three chests that will add up from quest to quest. And then before you know it, you have two pities just sitting there in your account waiting for them to be uh, converted into a brand new character. And then speaking about exploring the game, my last tip is going to be to go into the link in the description. I'm going to link a interactive map that I found that is going to pretty much tell you where every treasure is, everything that you want to find, it's on that map. So I'm going to link it in the description, save it to your uh, whatever favorites, like bookmark it, do whatever. Uh, that map is going to be very, very helpful because when you get to an area, you're going to want to clear all the chests and everything that you want to collect. You want to clear it as soon as you get to a new area and that way you don't have to do it later on when you're scrapping for, uh, I don't know, whatever resource you want to scrap for. The map lets you filter through resources. It shows you where specific echoes are and most importantly, it shows you where every single chest in the game are and you know what that means that means extra pulls and that's all we're here for we're, we're here to beat some stuff up get some pulls get a new character that's what we want to do as gotcha players so that's going to be the end of the video i know it's very surface level uh knowledge right here but those are things that i didn't know when i started playing the beta that actually ended up costing me later on when i was like 50 40 hours into the game i hope this video finds you well there will be more withering waves content pretty much uh, it's going to be a little bit different than my hsr content for my hsr people but it is going to be uh, a game that i'm planning to cover so thank you for watching and until next time guys see ya